Hello folks, I hope that you're having just a great, great day today. Today we're taking another look at Manly Wade Woman. Uh, we're taking a look at his story. It's the guest of, and I cannot pronounce this, in my life. Uh, it's D, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try, Dzengangi. I've probably mispronounced that, but you'll see in the title. Um, from the name of this, but I'm sure that Zingangji is not how it's pronounced, but I slaughtered it, and that's fine. I don't mind. Um, and who's also set in his Cardios of Atlantis series. It's 16 pages in my collection. Now, as a reminder, Manly Wade Wellman is a guy who w was started out in the pulp era in the 20s, um, but he would write for a long time. He survives the pulp era by just continuing to write short stories and novels. Um, and he's one of the writers that was prolific in the pulp writer who still continued for the rest of his life. Um, and in fact, this series got started in the Cardi of Atlanta series, got started in the late 70s. Uh, so like 50 years after he got started in, in the mid 20s with weird tales. And so the story in 1925 um and this guy lived a life of the pulps like he was born in africa uh he was traveled in europe he went to the best schools he was an athlete i mean he's like he was like he like his life was like a pulp hero and also his name isn't a pseudonym dude's dude's name is Emilio wade wellman which sounds like 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 a pulp hero um in addition to his life being a pulp hero so this guy's gonna have an incredible life um, and he wrote a lot of sort of fiction um, and so we're taking a look at his sword and sorcery series and now we're taking a look at the guest of the zang the zen probably is how you pronounce it but i'm not gonna be too bothered with that so it's 60 pages long we're gonna open up with cardios has left the previous story on the dwelling temple behind he's not venturing uh, again and seeing the world he's in this mountainous region and he comes across an old man and a basket to go across this chasm and go down it. The old man tells him about a few things that he's nearby, including a beautiful um, city that's in the in the mountain properties in these caves. And so he wants to go see it and check it out. He's also heard some things about some bad stuff that lived there. So now he's going to go and explore this cave and try to find it in this chasm and try to find this this bejeweled and be be be. Um, golden city and see if it's exactly what he thought and and, and help out some folks so, so now he's going to arrive at the city um and he's going to find out a lot more about the city and his adventures therein and try to figure out if there actually is an evil in there and, and if so take it out so that's going to be basically the meat of the stories after he arrives at this city and then we're going to be introduced to us now unlike the previous story this one i think should have been 16 pages i don't think it was probably a few pages too long i don't think it has the pacing issues of the first one so so i actually think it's an 8 out of 10. i think it's probably a better story as a result for you i do like it better uh, it doesn't have the, the sort of twist ending or concept that the other one does but it's a very but it's a, but it's a better story so you might like it better or you might prefer the other one. I'd be happy to, you know, talk about with you more about those in the comments below. But I do like this story. I do think it's well done. I think it's the, 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 the language that that woman uses is well done. I think the description is well done, but it doesn't take too much of your time. I don't think he really does the sin of showing rather than talking. Um, and so I so I um, so, or so I, I like it. And I, I think it's a strong, strong story as a result. So I'm happy to to let you know that I enjoyed this short story. Have you read it? What did you think of it? Did you agree or disagree with me in any of these things? I would be happy to engage you with it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit that like button and then subscribe button? There's going to be a whole lot more of these to follow, so you might as well subscribe. And then finally, I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives, right? So the fact that you spent this time with me, that's humbling, and I appreciate it. So thanks again, and have a great day.